have made it more reliable. Ladies and gentlemen from the 97th Air Mo Mobility Wing, this is the KC-135 Stratotanker. as the C-17 Globemaster III pitches up 20 plus degrees for a tactical takeoff. The C-17 Globemaster III combines the short takeoff and landing any aircraft in the history of aviation and the heavy lift capabilities of the C-5 Galaxy. The C-17 Globemaster III comes in at a whopping 585,000 pounds. And they're assisted, I'm sorry, I'm talking about the wrong airplane. I'll get that straightened out just a moment. With a top speed of 515 miles per hour, take a look now as the C-17 approaches from the left in a high-speed pass. banking into a 30 plus degree bank, close to 45 degrees of bank. Major Jonathan Crawley, Major Travis Rich, and Major Emily Barkmeyer are piloting this aircraft today. The loadmaster is Sergeant Mitch or HUD. It's a piece of glass onto which is projected pertinent flight information so that the pilot doesn't have to look down into the cockpit to see his or her airspeed attitude, climb rate, altitude, and other pertinent weapons and systems information. But as we see the C-17 approach now from the right, it is going into a situation or a regime called aerodynamically dirty. The landing gear is extended. The leading edge slats on the front of the wing are extended. The trailing edge flaps are also extended, changing the shape of the wing dramatically to give it exceptional slow speed handling capability. Coming through at less than 150 miles per hour, the aircraft fully loaded, as I mentioned, 585,000 pounds. If you have ever been on a 757 airliner built by Boeing, you've actually been in an airplane powered by the civilian version of this same, the same engines, these F-117 engines, that power the C-17 Globemaster III. Now they'll clean it up. Watch for the wheels to start going up. And then you can see those trailing edge flaps, in particular, retract. Wheels up, flaps up, and accelerating away. Control or AWACS aircraft comes in at 270 million. We'll see one of those later on today with a team tinker demonstration. And the C-17 comes in at number three at about $218 million a copy. About 275 were built, 220 or so remain in service with the United States military. And there you see a very, very rapid demonstration of a steep bank 360 degree turn trying to grab that hose and put it into the gas cap, into the gas tank to uh, refuel it. It's easier now, but it is a very, very significantly challenging skill for the pilot of the KC-135, the boom operator who actually lays on his or her stomach at the rear of the aircraft looking out the back with two sticks to guide what they call the flying boom into the receptacle of the receiver aircraft, be it an F-16, be it an F-22, be it an F-35 or an F-15 or an A-1 
A-10, or even a B-52 bomber, or in this case, the C-17 Globemaster III. From the 97th Air Mobility Wing, here comes the demonstration in pre-contact position. when they get up within 20 feet of one another, the movement of one aircraft will affect the movement of the other. The boom operator extends that boom and literally flies it into the receptacle of the receiver aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, the KC-135 and the C-17 Globemaster III. Of the runway. The skill of the pilots is going to be demonstrated here. When they land, which you will see as well, you will see just how close the inner engine nacelles or the, the containers for the engines are to the ground. The pilots can only bank three degrees left or right without scraping those engine nacelles on the runway. And behind it, getting ready to do a special tactical landing, a short field landing, is the C-17. Here comes Zachary Marks, Justin Griswold, Vic Bro, and Lucas Treat in the 135, the KC-135. This was the predecessor to the Boeing 707 passenger jet that helped change the world. for the 135, everybody. Now, coming in at 140 miles per hour, getting ready to touch down. When it touches down, I want you to keep your eyes on the engine nacelles of the C-17. Panels will open up, and they will engage what are called the thrust reversers. Instead of having the thrust generated going out the back, it'll come forward and make it go in reverse. So as it touches down, check now. Touch down, the panels will open up on the sides, watch them open up, and this is about as much noise as this airplane's ever going to make. That's Master, Master Sergeant Mitchell Thompson. As advanced as the aircraft is, it does not have a backup cam. He's got to open the door and tell the pilots how to turn around and how to back up.